Without the normalcy of leaving the house and day-to-day -day stuff that we normally do, I've found it harder to keep up with keeping house. In this video, I'm going to keep up with my house and share it with you. Hopefully it motivates you to do the same. It's tough to be home 24 seven, month after month. And laundry piles up, toys pile up, dust piles up. You think your house would be cleaner because you're home more. But the opposite happens. <laughs> It's messier, it's dirtier, it's crazier, it's chaotic. Cause you have nothing breaking up the monotony, I think, of coming and going. So I've already started a little bit this morning and decided to just turn on the camera. I brought the laundry up that needs to get put away. I have my clothes that need to be hung into the closet. And then I wanted to show you a basket. This is one way that I've been um, cleaning rooms or tidying rooms since we're home so much. Things are going, <laughs> Things have a hard time staying in their place. So this is my basket. Um, this morning I just went around the floor of my room and picked up anything that didn't belong in my room and put it in here. So then this bin just gets put away and wherever it's supposed to go. It's mostly, mostly colored pencils and kids books. <laughs> A heating pad so that'll be really easy to put away and then once the basket's empty and I go into another room anything that doesn't belong in that room I put in that basket until that basket is full we'll go put it where it belongs it kind of streamlines tidying up for me room to room um, for keeping house during the day put my clothes away make the kids piles I folded it as it came out of the laundry as it came out of the dryer Woohoo! anybody who's been around for a little while knows that that's like that's like a thing I don't do. <laughs> so I actually folded it. I'm feeling productive this morning. So that's what I'm going to do next is make the piles for laundry, strip my bed, and put my clothes away. All of my pants. <laughs> for those of you that watched the uh, morning routine last week, I had no pants. Now I have some pants. <laughs> I'm going to strip my bed. I need to wash my sheets. I've washed the three blankets that I keep on my bed. I washed them yesterday. So I am going to strip my sheets because the dog jumped on the bed. He's not allowed on the bed. He's not allowed on any of the beds or the couch. We're breaking that habit. So I washed those blankets, which is why they're in a pile like that. charge them with cleaning up the schoolroom downstairs. So that's what they're doing. At least that's what they said they were doing. So I'm gonna put their clothes away for them. Usually I just call them upstairs and they do it, but I'm gonna put their clothes away for them today. In the hope that that is actually what they're doing. That looks so cool. So you found some clay you're playing with, huh? Hair and arms. Hair and arms. What happened to maybe picking up the schoolroom? What, what are happened? you talking about? What are you talking about, Mom? Yeah. All right, so both boys have six pairs of pants because I'm caught up on laundry. They have five in there, and they're wearing one today. Okay. Mom's up. Don't worry. Don't Take the socks, they're matched. So I'm just down to towels and sheets and blankets. So that's nice. What do I have in here? Oh yeah, okay. Rest of my clothes from the dryer. Oh, it smells so good. I've been doing wool balls at your suggestion for a few months now. And I put one drop of this lavender essential oil and that one drop will last three loads. Um, and we'll make the clothes have this 
calming lavender smell. And I, I just, I love it. This is another gift for my mom for my birthday. This sweater. And then <laughs> I had her sew me a pocket on the inside for my phone. And then this is the sweater I've been wearing to go for walks with the kids. <laughs> These last two shirts are part of my spring wardrobe collection. <sighs> I shop for before the virus. But now I'm really glad about my strategy. My strategy was to have pieces that can move backwards into winters in winter and forwards into summer. So when I was shopping for spring, I bought layered clothing, clothing and then colors that would work in all three seasons. Um, so this, I could pull backwards into winter. That brown one that I just hung up, that could go backwards into winter as well. Now I have pieces that are gonna work in other seasons as well. I also have not been super motivated to keep house. I don't know if that, if we're in my kitchen. <laughs> I don't know if that's something you do. I also felt as well. I've just been unmotivated. Okay, you two ready? <laughs> yes. Okay, we have some things in here that need to be. I want to do. I want to do. I want to do. Okay. I want to do. Well, yep. Everybody's gonna help me. Too. Me too. All right, Brandon, that's Jack's book. In my linen closet. This is kept well. A makeup bag. This is another goal for today. And this situation. <laughs> That's about two days running where I just, I stopped washing the dishes. I did. I got a little bummed out <laughs> about the world and just burned through every pot and pan and dish we have and we have nothing. So I got a clean load of clean in here that I need to empty. And then I'll get all that in the dishwasher and then, um, and this is just well, games, <laughs> a roll of toilet paper from the dollar store my dad dropped off, and bread and potatoes. That's what's in here. And some of the pieces to start the garden, the Victory Gardens out back came, so, and I've had them on the counter. So really, it's just everything has to go in its place, and it'll be cleaned up super fast. So that's my other goal. Um, so get some, get ahead on laundry, attend to the kitchen, and get the trash down to the street. Those are my goals for the day. I have not been tackling the whole house in one day. It's just too much to keep up with and we've got time. I don't have to do all the rooms every day. Okay, you know those kinds of people who have their sofa work for like this? <laughs> I know that drives some of you nuts. It used to drive me nuts. Before kids, a drawer like that would drive me nuts. Kids have broken me. <laughs> They've broken my OCD. And so I, I just dump it in there because by the end of the day, the drawer is empty anyway. I'm also one of those people who has like 10,000 unread emails and 100 unread text messages. Seriously, I'm gonna take a screenshot. I'll take a screenshot of my phone. I'm filming with my phone today. I will take a screenshot of my phone right now and you'll see. Okay, um, this is my screen. Look, 15,361 unread emails, 124 unread text messages, 14 missed calls or voicemails. I have 50, 15 messages in here, 58 messages in here. Um, these two, my social media and my business, I usually clear out every day. But otherwise, yeah, there's always like messages popping up all over the place. Oh, this is something I did new today. Playlist. If you have Apple... Download the app if you have an iPhone. I am at Erica Lucas on Playlist. And I have, let me see if I can find myself. Here we go. I have, I just started it today. I made a motivation get it done playlist with music.
these should be my raised bed gardens. This is my hard work cloth. We're not looking better. The only day I really make my bed is the day I clean the sheet. I had to go get this one out of my daughter's room. Everyone keeps stealing this one. <laughs> this one ends up on the couch sometimes too. It's so soft. <laughs> I actually remember where I got that from, Amazon, of course, back in the day of my Amazon days. I'll put a link below because that blanket, it's one of the best throw blankets ever. If you like this content, give me a like below. Subscribe if you want more content for decluttering and living with less. Thanks for watching.